Hi, my name is Galen George and I'm an application scientist here at CID Bioscience. Today I want to talk to you about our new CI710S SpectraView leaf spectrometer. The SpectraView is a portable and field ready leaf spectrometer that is useful for anyone from agronomists to plant physiologists, horticulturists, or even classroom education. The instrument is capable of taking absorbance, transmittance, and reflectance measurements all with a single scan. This means that you can use the instrument to study things like plant stress due to environmental factors, as well as looking at phytochemical content like anthocyanins and carotenoids, or chlorophyll, or even looking at micronutrient content by deploying a chemometric model based on some sort of mathematics like partial least squares regression. Along with the capability to measure simultaneously in absorbance, transmittance, and reflectance, the instrument boasts a spectrometer with a wavelength range of 360 to 1100 nanometers. We also have a 7-inch touchscreen display that allows the user to view all this data in real time as the instrument both captures and analyzes that data using either an array of built-in indices or custom indices designed by the user. And now to demonstrate the use of the SpectraView out in the field, we're going to go out and take some measurements. So now we're out in the woods outside of our headquarters in Camas, Washington, and I'm going to demonstrate to you how to take a measurement and then how to visualize the data output from that measurement. And we're gonna start by measuring the tree here. I'm gonna take a measurement of a healthy leaf and then I'll follow it up with a measurement of a unhealthy leaf. So we're going to press the scan button, which is a play symbol. And now the scan is done after one second, I can remove the leaf by unclamping it. And that was a healthy leaf, so now we're gonna go down and we're gonna scan an unhealthy leaf. So we're gonna take it, do the same thing, and we're gonna position it so that it's covering the entirety of the lens. We're going to press the scan button, and within a second we should receive a second scan, as indicated by the second color of bars and the second line within the spectra window. So now that we've taken our two measurements, the first one of the healthy leaf and the second one of the unhealthy leaf, I want to show you how that data is displayed and visualized on the home screen of the spectra view. So the first measurement we took was the healthy leaf and that is represented by the purple bars down below as well as the purple line up on the spectrograph above. The unhealthy leaf is represented by the kind of goldish green bars here down in our indices and then also by the goldish green line in our spectrograph. And so these numbers down here indicate the values for each of these pre-selected um, uh, indices. So down here I have the PRI, the NDVI, and the AR1. And these indicate the PRI is the photochemical reflective index, the NDVI, the normalized differentiated vegetative index, and the uh, AR1 is the anthocyanin reflective index. And so with these numbers, what you can see off the bat is that the unhealthy leaf has a much higher anthocyanin content. It has a lower NDVI, kind of an analogous to lower chlorophyll content, and it also has a lower PRI um, uh, so if the photochemicals uh, are uh, at a lower level than with the healthy leaf. You can also then go and take this and export all this data. You can simply view your measurements by clicking the ruler here and you can see these two measurements that I took and the time and the date at which they were taken. Here is where you can export them via Wi-Fi if you want to um, and you can back up that data. You can also tag them with uh, various uh, tags uh, if you have different groupings of measurements that you want to group together. Uh, and you can also filter them uh, when you go to view them as uh, by their tags or by the date and time. Um, and then if you want to go and change your actual um, indices that you've chosen, you can go to the calculations sheet, sheet by clicking the calculations button. And then you can add new calculations or indices um, by going to this screen here and clicking and adding either a custom index or any one of the preloaded indices on this screen. When you go to save that, um, for instance, let me actually choose, I'll choose carotenoid reflective index one. Um, you can then click save. 
that'll be saved. And then when I go back to the home screen, you'll actually see that index has been added. And because I have the spectra here, that has been back calculated for us. So we can actually see the values for this index for the previously taken measurements. Here, up here with the two arrows is where you can actually change what you're viewing, reflectance, transmittance, or absorbance. So if you are using a index that you might want to, um, or that utilizes a transmittance calculation or an absorbance calculation, you'll want to change this setting prior to uh, getting those calculations down here in this window. In addition to the index measurements and the raw spectra that we acquired by taking a scan of the unhealthy and healthy leaf, the user can also export the raw spectra and use it to create a chemometric model to predict analytes like micronutrients or macronutrients and water content. And that's just some of the features of the SpectraView leaf spectrometer. For more information, please visit our website at www.cid-inc.com.